You know I gotta prepare myself for this one because it's a Metallica song. We're gonna do the official video, which is a classic official video. Uh, it's actually the first video that Metallica produced. So 1988 and Justice For All. It's based on a movie. It's based on a movie, uh, Johnny Got His Gun. It's, it's based off that movie. I never saw that movie, but basically what the movie is about, it's about uh, World War I, it's about the war. I guess this dude lost all his motor skills. Like, uh, he lost his arms, his legs, uh, everything, bro. All, all this is based off what's going on in his head. So, bro, that's tough. That's tough. I always get nervous, though, for bands like Metallica because it's so out of my range that I'm like, what, what's going to happen? What are you, what's going to happen to me? I have barely dipped my ear into Metallica. I've only done Master of Puppets. So I'm particularly curious how Metallica is going to bring emotions to the forefront with this song. I don't know if it's going to be emotional or it's going to be like amazing. Whenever I think of Metallica, the first thing that comes to my mind is something powerful, aggressiveness, anger. I can say that they never disappointed and you know, having this amazing band in my musical journey is definitely a thing, it's a must. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so it's it's gone short. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the war sounds. Really. It's gonna be cool. The cerebrum has suffered massive and irreparable damage. You never know what has happened to him. If I not been sure of this, I would not have permitted him to live. Where are the chills already? I need more. What is democracy? What is democracy? Got something to do with young men killing each other. When it comes to my turn, will you want me to go? For democracy, any man would give his only begotten son. celebrated individual to experience pain, pleasure, memory, dreams, or thought of any kind. This young man will be as unfeeling, as unthinking as the day, the day he joins me. I don't know whether I'm alive or dreaming or dead and remembering. How can you tell what's a dream and what's real when you can't even tell when you're awake and when you're asleep? Where? Okay, what do you have so far? Uh, this is deep. It's a super deep song. It's beautifully dark. That is immediately extremely touching and, and um, disturbing all at the same time. <laughs> it's about war. It's about the, the damages of war. Uh, you know, what war can do on the human body, the human mind. And they're like uh, kind of explaining his condition, like saying uh, he won't be able to feel, think or anything. But then you hear him saying like, I'm not sure if I'm awake and dreaming or dead and remembering. So mm. what the doctors think is going on is different than what is really going on for him. Which just makes it worse. Okay, let's continue. Back in the womb, it's much too real. It pumps life that I must feel. But 
torturous situation a human could ever be in right like your mind would just play mm -hmm. tricks with you it would just mess with you because your mind is still on but nothing else is they're doing such a good job at expressing just this pain and that trapped feeling i guess even in the guitar and the way he sings they're doing such a good job at how this man is probably feeling but ah, it's a lot it's a lot and i can see that they're doing this song in different parts from the point of view of the uh of the veteran here this is absolutely brilliant. And I, I was watching this and I was just thinking, man, I remember this having um, it's a really powerful piece of um, storytelling. Wow, this is heavy. Don't you have some message for him, Andre? He's the product of your profession. Not mine. Oh. Yeah. 
nobody pays any attention. If I had arms, I could kill myself. If I had legs, I could run away. If I had a voice, I could talk and be some kind of company for myself. Why don't they get it over with and kill me? I could yell for help, but nobody would help me. I just got to do something and see how I can go on like this. Wow, that was also um, a unique ending as well. If you just listened to the song without watching the video, you probably wouldn't even understand how absolutely horrifying that was. It's such a bizarre feeling. You know, we've all heard Metallica 1, but it really fucking feels like I barely heard the song for the first time. And now the song has a completely different meaning. And now whenever I hear it again, it's just going to hit so much more different. Um they fucking told a story there and they told it so well and it was so eerie and dark and it just makes you feel empty there was something like deeply disturbing and upsetting to me Mm -hmm. about that video and like the pieces of the movie interspersed in it yeah and I think that's why my initial reaction I thought like I obviously I've not seen the movie before I thought it was like the twilight zone because Oh my god. This is really terrifying me. I'm gonna be thinking about this video for weeks. At least. Like, just the idea of... I think this is the worst thing could have happened to you. Yeah. It's crazy to think that, like, this happens in real life, for sure, you know? You you really start to get those visions of what a hellish nightmare that in-between state would be, that purgatory state of not really being alive, but not being allowed to die. Um, Yeah, that is is a really powerful masterpiece. Man, those lyrics be so deep. Wow. That was amazing. Sound, instruments, just spazzing out. Unbelievable. We also have to talk about In the end, it seemed like they kept him alive, and the guitar was going crazy, it was like Mm. kind of screaming. I felt like the guitar was like him screaming, almost. Mm. It sounds like this guy, what is going on in his head, it sounds like he's screaming in agony. It sounds like the agonizing screams of a man who feels so hopeless and helpless and would rather just die than to continue living. It's it's really two parts, right? It's two parts of the song. You know, it's that, that kind of first part, intro, more of the clean guitar, more, more setting the mood for, for what's to come more more moody mm-hmm. not so much heavy and then and then you can see when it shifts right when the guitar goes from clean to heavy distortion yeah the the jarring nature of how the orchestration you know develops um between those two worlds of the sort of melodic pastoral musicality of the guitars playing uh, off the top and then you get this incredible heavy distortion and then it switches back and you get that back and forth and it's very jarring and then all of a sudden you're into it and you're into that hellish nightmare um, scenario and it's just guitars distortion and it's amazing amazing it's very selfless in my opinion uh, for them to make this type of music versus the stereotypical music that most music is (laughs) is <laughs> i feel like this should be something that we're taught in school they should just make us watch metallica one so we can all just learn to be a little bit more empathetic and understand what other people are going through this was a song to like try and help open the public's eyes for a certain war i'm guessing this song has opened my heart to a better understanding of what metal is now i know there's a part of metal that softens one's heart that brings one to tears i never knew i would cry for this is metal it's supposed to be all gingered all aggressive but this brought me to tears i thought it was mostly just anger or frustration at the world um or maybe at yourself but those were the kind of emotions that i associated more with metal 
and often with rock as well. I had friends in high school that always listened to this, bro. And I always used to pick on them like, bro, why are you listening to all that noise? But now I realize it's not noise. It's actually relaxing, bro. That's crazy. That's, I got I to gotta call all my friends from high school and apologize. Have you ever watched a sad song with a nice bit? Like I don't think I've ever checked out a song like this before. It was the perfect example of how to tell a story using some killer metal music in the background. Those riffs were insane. Obviously, James' vocals were top tier. It was like watching a good HBO series, but hearing good music at the same time. Big kudos, big shout outs to this band because that was, even though it was really tough, it was really hard. Their ability to sort of portray that emotion down to a T in their music and just that intense feeling at the end, especially like, the instrumentals, the drums, the 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 fact, the talk about the Morse code and just the saw, whole song in general. It was it, awesome. was it was a lot, but guys, it was worth it. Now I know why Metallica is one of the world's biggest bands in history. Mm. I feel like I just lost my metal virginity. That's tough.